OpenSIPS control panel installation. OpenSIPS control panel is the perfect companion for, for OpenSIPS. It's much easier to configure an OpenSIPS server by editing the database using the OpenSIPS control panel. We're going to install the version 935, the, the proper one for, uh, for OpenSIPS 3.5. So let's go to the documentation and install guide. And in the install guide, we'll start by installing. I already did, but let's do it again. So I have installed this users. Now I have to configure Apache. So, okay. So let's see. And let me copy this. And it asks us to create a, vis uh, a virtual host on Apache. Okay, so let's let's do it. Uh, what is the virtual host? So cd slash etc slash Apache two. Uh, alas, so usually we are going to sites enabled, and on sites enabled we have zero 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 default. So zero zero default. So this is the virtual host. Let me apply the other one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, sometimes on Debian I have to set the mouse equals the right. Let me add the the new information here. So okay. Let me add this. So this is a directory. Okay, all granted. Directory. Open SIP CP web. Directory. CP alias alias CP directory match. I think everything is right now. So let me save. Restart Apache 2. Great. So let's go back to the instructions. PHP. So we need to install the PHP. Again, same thing. Yes, done. Okay, back there. Database server. So OpenSIPS is already installed, creating the OCP tables. But there is something wrong here that it's not on the system. We need to download OpenSIPS control panel to var www.html. So let me do this download. So this is the zip file. So let me copy the address of the link. So, okay, CD. Great, double get. Let me copy this. Great, 935. Unzip. Great. So now we can go to OpenSIP CP. So let's do a move. Move OpenSIP CP 3.5 var www html slash open sip cp done now we need to change the the rights okay so we need to change the right to www data for everything super important so Let's see. Done. So if we do an ls-l, we can see that OpenSIP CP is now on www data. Perfect. Next, let's go back to the instructions. PHP is already installed. Now the database server. So it's on the config. So, okay, let me grab this MySQL. 
by schema. CD open zip CP. Then you have directory config. So this is the proper place to do it. There's no password. Done. One more step. Okay, Chrome job. Uh, this is just for statistics, but anyway, that's a good idea. Let's add. Great, system CTL restart Apache 2. Done. Now let's see if we get control panel and the port 80. So, okay. So on the port 80, we have 9472. Okay, admin. Uh, it's usually admin open sips. Done, it's working. So open sips control panel is installed. Uh, notice that I still need to add a certificate to the system and add this to the Apache. I'll do it using Let's Encrypt. But this is another video. I think it was quite clear how to install the OpenSIPS control panel.